Georgia, so that's uh, that's been clutch. As I think from Kentucky, how excited are you for Big Blue Mountains? I'm so excited. Uh, I've seen it the past two years, but to be a part of it, that's going to be huge. Any any tricks up your sleeve? Any hints you can give? I guess you're going to have to see. <laughs> I'm being here and you've talked about your schedule and how much stuff you're doing. Is it harder than you thought it would be? Yeah, I'd say it's harder. But I love it. Like It's harder, but I'm loving every second. Well, how is the knee doing? Um, I know everybody's asked, but you could give me an update. That uh, it's doing great. I'm at the end of the process, so the last little few inches, uh, uh, I'm almost back. What inspired the bubblegum uh, colored shoes? Uh, these are the Pratchett Stars on Spongebob. But uh, <laughs> just uh, my love for SpongeBob. I grew up watching SpongeBob, and I thought they'd uh, show a little bit of my character. I was told you have the worst fashion on the team. Who said this? I need I I, I need to talk with them. <laughs> it's quite quick. It was. It was was quick. <laughs> I don't know. I guess we're gonna have to see it, madness. When you talk about how this has been so hard, it's like school, rehab, everything. But working with this team and seeing everybody out there, how strong do you think this team's going to be this year? Uh, I think we can. This team can be great. You know, just seeing the leaps and bounds that we're already taking, and the season hasn't even started yet. I think that's going to be big for us. From watching, who has improved um, the most in the short time you guys have been here? Everybody. And like that might sound like, yeah, I'm just giving out an answer. No, like everybody's improving. What do you think will be your biggest improvement once you hit the court again? Biggest improvement? I'd say just from high school, like I didn't really lift too much, but now, you know, being in the weight room a lot and you know, being in the gym a lot with our trainers, just having a stronger uh, foundation for my body and getting around the court faster, quicker, being more agile, that's going to be a big thing for me. Uh, what's the process like learning it or developing your game when you're not on the court, having, having to just watch? I think you really just tap in on the mental side. Uh, I think uh, when you're in there, you, you can hit on both, but mainly just mental when you're watching from off the court. Since you were known in, in, in high school as a scorer, you know, putting up 35, 40, 50 points a game, what, what's going to be your role on this team? What, what's going to be different? Uh, I think what's going to be different is you got a bunch of uh, five stars and a lot of talented players around uh, that you can just pass to at any given time. And uh, I, I see myself as a playmaker, and that's going to be something I thrive off of this year. Appreciate it. Hey, thank you. Uh, my roommate's Ashton and Weird. I don't know. The thing with Ashton, he's pretty straight. He's pretty. He, he's just straightforward, and you're not really getting too much out of him. Great guy, though. What's up, Dante? What's up? How are you? I'm doing good. How excited are you to get the ball rolling here? I'm so excited. It's coming up soon, and I'm ready for it. How are you feeling? As far as your injuries and things like that, how you progress? Uh, at first, um, you know, obviously it wasn't, uh, it was devastating that it happened, but, you know, getting to it now, I'm, I'm further in the process. It's going great and I'm ready to get back. Do you think you're getting close to being cleared or have you been cleared? Uh, I've not been fully cleared, but I'm at that point where I'm about to be, so I'm just working every day. Going through the, some of those injuries and the car accident and, and of course, the, the injury at Pendleton County, did that help grow you as a player? What did you learn through that kind of thing? Uh, as far as uh, during my senior season? Yeah. I mean, what did you happen to watch and, and not get to participate? Did that help you grow off the court anyway? I think uh, any time that things like that happen with the car wreck and just being off the court watching games, I think you grow you know, on and off the court because you value relationships. And then from off the court perspective, you can just see how guys move and tactics and things like that. You're from here. But, so you kind of know what to expect, but what, what's maybe something that you're kind of having to adjust to now that you're actually here in Lexington? Uh, really just the grind. I mean, I, I'm, a, I'm a hard worker, I'd like to believe, but it's just different when you get here and, you know, you're going from 8 a.m. class, you're going to another class, then you're going straight to a, uh, a workout session and straight to a practice. It's just back to back to back. Uh, I love it, though.
being a Kentucky kid to be at this point, you have the Kentucky across your chest. I mean, what's this whole thing like for you at this point? Uh, it's, it's really just a blessing. I can't really say more than that. Like, just to be here and just learn from the, um, from and 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 it's one of the greats. It's an honor. Are some of the other freshmen asking you questions about the program? Are you having to be a tour guide at all when it comes to this? <laughs> uh, really, we just all came in, and you know, even though I'm from here, I haven't really got too much of uh, experience with the, being here in Lexington. So we all just kind of filled it out ourselves, and we got to figure it out a little bit. I know it's early, but in terms of chemistry, how are you guys gelling as a group on and off the court? That's funny because it was like literally, like I say. The second week that we all got together, we just gelled immediately. It was kind of crazy, uh, but it, it's going great on and off the court with us. What are the things that you can be once you are cleared and get to practicing? What do you expect your role to be with this team, and what are the things that you can excel in? Uh, really, I just believe my role will be just make shots, you know, um, and just play on the both ends of the floor. That's a big important thing that he emphasizes every day, and just pretty much just play my role. Guys, you've had to rehab these injuries. What what have you been able to work on your game as far as any aspects? Shooting, really? ball handling? Uh, you know, I always work on shooting, ball handling, but really just it's about strength. And uh, I'd say luckily, but uh, when I got hurt, I've got to do a lot of that with my legs. And uh, I think that was a very important part of my game that I needed to work on. You probably know this, but you're kind of living out the dream of a lot of Kentucky kids that maybe couldn't get to this point. Have you had like a wow moment yet that like, whoa, I'm, I'm actually here? Or do you think that might be coming? Uh, really, it's just, it's always been there. I don't take it for granted. And anytime I can inspire the youth, I'm going to do that.